is Robert Flav. I'm a veterinary surgeon in Stowe, County Kerry. And today we're just going to give a chat about um, uh, bull fertility, or uh, we call it a bull breeding sinus examination, which is basically just uh, an exercise in risk reduction in um, kind of making sure your bull is fit for purpose and do what he's supposed to do in the time allowed. In general, there's uh, high expectations of bulls in Ireland. The calving season has gone compact and um, a lot of cows will be served in a very short period of time. I think there's a lot of pressure on bulls, uh, especially in herds that don't use AI. Um, and some of the beef herds as well. But with uh, compact early calving, uh, you definitely want to have a lot of bulls if you're doing bulls only. And if you have one bull that's um, subfertile, he's going to put a lot more pressure on the other bulls. And then if you are doing AI, um, you want to have as many cows AI before the bulls go out so that there's less pressure on the bulls that are left. Probably a good idea to rotate bulls so that they have time to recover. One of the biggest things we're looking for is the subfertile bull. Uh, there's very few bulls that are completely infertile, uh, but there are some bulls that are subfertile. And younger bulls tend to be uh, subfertile, I'd say, just because of their age. They're just not mature enough. Um, as a general rule of thumb, we'd say one month of bull to every cow to serve. So if you have a 14 month old bull, he's only really good for 14 cows in that season. If you're going to give him more cows than that, he will do it. It's just going to take him a lot longer. Uh, so if you want compact calving, you want to have plenty of bull power and a lot of AI are a combination of the two. A lot of people will be winding down their AI season fairly soon and they're going to be needing their bulls in a short period of time if they're not already using them. Um, so it's the time of year to go at them. It's not much value to be calling me in September and saying I think this bull is a bit slow or I'm um, seeing a lot of repeats on him. Even mature bulls that would have loads of calves on the ground last year, they can go subfertile subsequent year. A lot of those we probably think are just infections that they pick up during the first uh, breeding season and it smolders away and you don't really notice it and they're not completely sterile but they would be a lower than expected conception rate. And with the bulls going out people tend to switch off, they go off doing other jobs, doing silage and everything else and they don't keep an eye on the repeats so um, I still keep an eye on the repeats and keep an idea of how many cows are bulling um, and the general rule is that probably two cows per bull per day. So still have your AI man on the phone just in case you get uh, a bunch of repeats and another problem we see sometimes is people who do a little bit of um, fixed time AI, you have a batch of cows repeating together in 21 days and the bulls aren't able for that. You could even overlap with the breeding season with the, with the bulls with the AI season. So you could throw in your bulls the last couple of weeks if you're finishing up AI and he'd act almost like a teaser bull for you. So he'd, you can get the best of both worlds. If you are using bulls, then you want your bulls to be up to speed and as fertile as possible. So. The obvious stuff, you want them uh, well fed, strong, you want them fit, not fat, um, and you want a mature bull if at all possible. And if you are going to use immature bulls, uh, limit the numbers so that they can get a chance. And probably a lot of young bulls, you're really just getting them ready for next season. So just think of them as kind of a sub for this year, but don't rely on them too much.